Oh boy, one hour and 30 minutes. All right. <laughs> Getting back into the game. Oops, wrong button. Did I accidentally press the wrong button? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. And within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under... understand. That voice. It's so familiar. Ah, it's... I understand. Is that my voice? It's... me. I... understand. I should... understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's... to stay here. Huh? What am I trying to say? This is all... for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have... Stay here. Uh, uh, my dream just now. What? So strange, huh? Uh. Is this some sort of implication that Kyoko is the mysterious 16th student? Wait a fucking. Actually, oh, we'll have to wait this real quickly. Every day is peaceful, every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending happy days, days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities, as far as the eye can see, left without the tiny speck of abnormality. We're like that. I consider that. Pretty damn abnormal. Ooh. What was she doing in my sleep? Good morning. So it's morning time. Yeah. Was that the dream or did she come in here? It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. <sighs> I let a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. They had all disappeared at the night. I was all left with me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I had caught, either. It was also... the dream I had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. I scrambled and grabbed onto any fragments of the dream and reeled them up for the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. Yeah, you you hated when like you're dreaming about dreaming, <laughs> or dreaming about like sleeping in the bed, and then you think, oh, that's actually real life. But once you wake up, it's like, oh, that part was a dream. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then. All of a sudden, I was awake, and there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask, and they were holding a knife! I was... I want to say I fought them both, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhat far away, watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember... Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How could I possibly find out either way? Well, first off, let's look at the knife that's in the drawer. I open the desk drawer and... HUH?! It's empty! There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because I definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means... 
the knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But it, if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone want to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko... What the hell is going on? Well, I don't think I'm going to figure it out on my own. To the cafeteria! Then I can talk to everyone about it. Okay, this seems smart. Leave the area. So this is probably like day two, so the next day is probably someone's going to die, right? Assuming that the three-day cycle's there. Or is this the third day? Oh, fuck, I don't remember. First day was searching, second day was like, just free trial. Hey, Makoto! Yep, that's Makoto, sure as the sky's blue! Hey, Hina. Uh, I'm guessing she's the only one here? Um... Are you really... You really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? W worried? I mean... Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been... You know. <laughs> I mean, not that they'd actually happen, I mean, nobody would want to... You know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right back into bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you guys get me? Did something happen? Mm. Um, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else, then they can tell you all about that. Oops. Fuck. Oops. God damn it. Stupid um, bug itch. Cause... Uh. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Alright, there we go. So, is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? Right. Oh yeah, we all stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost that rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. So, you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up and I'll meet you there. Alright. I guess to the gym, then. Someone was waking up for me the entire night. Uh, map. Is that the gym again? I, I'm trying to remember the layout of this place. It's probably this area. At least I think it is. No one's here. This has got to be the place. No music, so it's progress. Ah, ah there he is! Huh? Oh, hey, this is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once! Wait, what? <laughs> what? Jeez, to show up now? Like it's no big deal. <laughs> you made us stay up all night while you slept like a b b baby in your b bed. Just like Hina said, everyone was there besides Kyoko. And then I noticed. They formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was. What the? Before I could catch myself, I cried out. <laughs> Spread out. In front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's in the face. What? Relax, there's no danger. You can say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Huh. Well, this is certainly interesting. If this is actually the Monokuma thing, then... Well, it looks like it's been professionally dismantled. How is that possible? Tearing apart something like this isn't dangerous? Seriously, what were you- oh, so yeah. Seriously, what were you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, cause that's how much I like ya. Hmm. Byakuya found this little fella laying around, then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym trying to talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal, however. <laughs> when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still, Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, I didn't- I still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the dismantling process. 
It was from Master's Stroke Genius. I had a chance to find out what the main Monokuma to take. Hmm. One thing was discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who was enough? Who has enough free time to invest in something like that, anyways? But besides that, what I'm wondering is why did he stop moving all of a sudden? I thought maybe he would malfunction, but we didn't find any cause as to what we were talking. Were ta we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break down, in other words, then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master, they ran away into terror. Or maybe they got sick or something. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not the Mastermind? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set as a timer to play as necessary. Hmm. That is true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. That is true. Hey, I don't think now's a good time for a light conversation. I just found something. I just found something. What is this? That looks like a ticking time bomb. It's... It's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? what? A bomb oh. That's super bad. We need to get rid of it. Um. Roger that. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. All of a sudden, movements, any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. What? Motion sensor? For serious? Ah, I'm starting to get all shaky! Hey, you can get it together, you're a man, aren't you? Yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm totally fine! Ah! No, you're not fine! You're saying, ah! ah, ah. <laughs> oh, wah! Okay, oh, uh, I probably should have mentioned. The motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. God. You're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be it's a fucking bomb, Aoi! Hey, come on, the century's just got started. Don't call that race already. Whatever, just uh, hurry up and put the bomb down, hanging on to the... That's gonna uh, not do any good. good. Uh, um... Oh yeah, good call. Alright, so... Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. Oh boy. Hero put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could that have been when I thought about when I thought about it? I couldn't help but think back to the night before being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto. Huh? Hey. Don't hurt! Did you hear a thing we just said? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that that's a no. What is some kind of brain brain dead fart animal? Sorry, jeez. We we're saying since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. It's all clear now. To try to uncover the mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the headmaster's room. R really? Naturally. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance. Wouldn't you agree? But, but if the mastermind comes back while we're in there, if you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. Well, I live in the chicken coop with all the other chicken. You could be chicken number six. Such ignorance. This is a battle. A fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean... I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away? Or are you going to fight? You're right. I'll go with you. Clear. Okay then. We're going to break into Headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen. So prepare yourself. Okay. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this! I'm a man and I can do this! I've got the will of the entire universe on my side! We found- we each found a determination in each of our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Alright, here we go. This has got to be it, right? 
Door won't budge. Must be locked. Wait, what? Headmaster's room is... Oh, whoops. There's a... Oh, sorry. This is not headmaster's room. This is a data room. Why aren't you guys going in first for me? <sighs> okay, this is the headmaster's room then. Rattle, rattle. Hmm. It's locked. As suspected. So, what are you gonna do now? What? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna tear this door off its hinges. Wait, but... The rules say, we've said that the master of mine isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But, but like Makoto said, if the master mine did show up, well, okay. So in other words, then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but what? we've come this far. We can't go back down now. We agree that this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? Okay. Actually. We're gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. And we need something to sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? A pickaxe? Oh, Nothing in tool shed. So then. Okay. I see. Interesting. That could be very exactly what we need. Now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock. So it's probably 9 on the dot right now. All clear. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back by 9.01! <laughs> That's straight up unreasonable! I'll... I... by myself? Surely, you like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well, if it's me and you time, Master, then yeah. You know how much time it took you to say that. Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Unacceptable! God damn it, fucking lemon. Okay, when that toko ran off, loud as I heard of a rabid elephant... Hey. For seriousness, though, are we just gonna knock this door down? No problem. It's solved by running away, finding your stones, and being a man. Okay. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. Life lessons from Kyoko Giri. Okay, let's do this. Let's break this door down! I'm so tense, I can already talk. I'm full of stuff now, blah blah blah. What? <laughs> what? Gross! Where'd you come from? Wait, Genocide Jill, where'd you come from? Hello, hello! It's our wonderful murder furnace being here to greet you with a razor sharp smile! Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I'm supposed to pick an axe? No, you sleeping imbecile, the pickaxe! Oh, sleeping imbecile? Oh, Master, you woo me with your executive blind level barbs! Huh. Here comes the bloody nose! Seriously though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for all memory factories. But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes. Unless the light bulb just went on. That's why I went to go to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. Alright, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one mystery left. One more mystery? Yep! We just need to figure out the identity of Object X! So, um... What were we talking about now? Did you already forgot what we were talking about? You're like, missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life! In fact, I found one in the garden! What? What'd you find? <laughs> Core. Ra. Puss. You Did you hear me? I said corpse! A corpse? Yep. That's right! I found a corpse in the garden! You found a corpse in the garden? What did you say? Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to get to the garden. This can't be good. What is this? As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... I saw someone laying down on the ground with a mask covering their face, and there was a knife, buried in their stomach, so, to the hilt. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but who is this? Well, thanks for the spoiler, obviously. <laughs> uh, hold on a minute. We're probably going to take a quick break, so I'll be right back. But I just want to see if this is going to be the last episode for today, or if we're going to continue on forward. 
It's been almost two hours, and I feel it's going to be another two hours. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll just go into 10 o'clock. So we'll be right back with the next episode. Stay tuned, and I guess the next recording will be the actual trial.